ओके सो वेलकम टू द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज आई सी टॉक्स एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड आई सी टॉक सो टूडे वी सो आई वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पेशेंट basically she was a middle aged lady who was who presented with shortness of breath which was gradually in onset outside in outside hospital and on work up they found that it's an ovarian carcinoma and then she had pleural effusion which is of chronic in nature and they decided to tap it and she was tapped 3 uh, uh, liters of the pleural fluid was removed and sent to the cytology and all other things which turned out to be positive now the catch here is which is very very important to any one who is working in the intensive care and emergency that how much pleural effusion needs to be tapped in one sitting which is very very important because if not done properly the patient can land in re expansion pulmonary edema which has got 20% mortality if single lung is involved and if it involves bilateral lungs then mortality can uh, uh, go up to 40% so basically what is re expansion pulmonary edema basically whenever the lung remain collapsed for a longer period of time and when it expands there is a uh, patient develops pulmonary edema which is usually refractory and doesn't respond so first we need to understand why it develops what is the pathophysiology and what are the precautions we need to take and if it develops what should be done so in short what happens when a lung remain collapsed for a longer period of time two things happen first the circulation gets compromised the vessel gets chinged up and that's why there is subtle sort of ischemia in the alveoli and which releases inflammatory markers and so that your uh, capillaries of the uh, the capillaries of the lungs became permeable second or leaky secondly when this lung expands these capillaries get filled by the sudden gush of uh, uh, blood and that's there the fluid leaks via this leaky capillaries into the interstitium and alveoli which causes pulmonary edema so that is the pathophysiology which is mentioned in the books so leaky capillaries and then sudden rush so what is the definition for how long if the lung is remain collapsed it will cause so if you go by literature if the lung remain collapsed for more than 3 days some literature says 7 days but we'll take it 3 days if the lung remain collapsed for 3 or more days the chance of re-expansion pulmonary edema is there and in which patient it can develops in patients in which there is a uh, gradual onset uh, uh, of effusion usually usually the effusion is gradually in onset so that the inflammation takes uh, inflammatory response means time is there for the uh, patient to develop the inflammatory response so usually happens in pleural effusions uh, which are chronic in nature uh, remain there for 3 or more days like that it can happen in hemothorax also means any type of fluid which has collapsed the lung it can also happen in pneumothorax because it uh, the air has compressed the pleura and the lung has got collapsed but the problem is in pneumothorax usually the patient becomes symptom- symptomatic uh, very quickly sudden onset pneumothorax the patient will dis- become dyspnea and so based on the symptom the intervention is done immediately within hours or within a day so uh, the re expansion doesn't develop because the inflammatory pathology pathophysiology the uh, capillary doesn't become leaking so usually we don't see pneumothorax but it is seen in pleural effusions who are in long standing and when 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 we tap more than 1 to 1.5 liter of the fluid in a single sitting so that is the catch so in any chronic uh, pleural effusion in single sitting how can we prevent it we around 800 to 1 liter should be tapped in one sitting better to get a pick tail inserted and then once 800 to 1 liter of fluid has come out you clamp it you uh, clamp the pick tail there is a norm and after 24 hours then again remove 1 liter and after 24 hours uh, you can remove based on the symptoms you can do it within 12 hours also but the idea is if you find any lung which is chronically it uh, means the pleural effusion is chronic in nature and we need to tap it in single sitting don't tap more than 800 to 1 liter of fluid in a single sitting better to get a pictel inserted and do it in a uh, multiple sit- you can do it on a daily basis or at least 12 hourly basis now even if you have done all the things if if it develops what to do as usual we need to give uh, the supported treatment as we do for any other pulmonary edema bypap support oxygen support ventilation diuretics 
in literature they have uh, they have also mentioned that they reins uh, insert the pleural fluid which has come out uh, to some extent and it, in there are two case reports which i got in the literature where the symptom have resolved uh, by pushing uh, the pleural fusion means pleural fluid back into the lung cavity but we haven't done uh, yet we have we have seen i think i have seen one or two patients uh, who developed this re expansion even if 500 600 ml of fluid was removed but they were managed uh, successfully but for all those who are listening in the icu or emergency whenever you found such a patient in a single sitting don't tap more than 1 liter of pleural fluid in single sitting that's the crux of today's icu talk hope you all like it see you in the next video thank you